All right. What similarities are there between the Persian Gulf and the Caspian Sea? All right. So this is more of like a like a logical human biologic biology question. All right. So what similarities are there between the Persian Gulf and the Caspian Sea? All right. Now, not only are they rich in reserves, right? Petroleum reserves, right? Because that's why a lot of people are interested in them, right? Um, we're also talking about geostrategics here, right? So their geo geo geography, where they're located, um, where they're located, right? So we have the Persian Gulf. We know that it shores Iran, Syria, so forth and so on. The Caspian Sea, the Caspian Sea. Sorry, um, uh, borders Russia, borders. Um, Iran once again all right now this is all geostrategic okay because once again this is kind of like a common sense biology question right um, we're humans all right do we live on water no we do not live on water all right we live on land right now think about the Pacific Ocean think about the Atlantic Ocean think about mm, any ocean that you like to think about who owns rights to those oceans? No state. No state owns any rights to any ocean, okay? No state owns any right to oxygen, to air. Um, we'll go more into natural, um, natural factors, natural environmental factors. Uh, probably in the future, I think, in, in A40s and how they play a role. Uh, you have rivers that get drained out before they reach uh, the end and s affecting a lot of other states or neighboring states, right? In the future, when we talk about water reserves and, and their effects to uh, an economy or um, a growing, uh, developing environment here, right? So the Persian Gulf, right? And the Caspian Sea holds petroleum reserves. Now, there is no state that lives on water, okay? there is no state that lives on water right uh, you you can you know perform blockades um you can possibly build a canal and you know charge maybe a fee for using the canal uh so forth and so on but honestly water oceans seas masses of water they really you know you can only probably at most have a shore you understand like be in charge of the shore and that's because you know eventually once they get on land uh you're gonna be in in whoever state and so and so forth and so on stay right now so the persian gulf and the caspian sea holds petroleum reserves that is very key here okay they since no one can really uh place uh i own this or the property of stamp on on the persian gulf or the caspian sea um, it kind of is known as, we'll say, like an open, free environment where states can go ahead and pump out petroleum reserves, right? Leading into a lot of confrontation uh, amongst neighboring states. Because some states say, hey, you're pumping out more than your share and so forth and so on. Um, and once again, another important thing about uh, the Persian Gulf and the Caspian Sea is their locations. They're surrounded by not one state not two states but several states all right uh and another another factor is that they are that there is no rightful owner to it that there is no state that says hey look this is my entire mass of water mm -hmm.